Hi, so I finally got around to updating my MIDI CDJ project. We've added lots of new features in the background and I'm just going to quickly run through them. So as we can see at the top, we now have a screen. And I also added two rotary encoders that we can program to do whatever. If we move the pitch, we can see that the pitch is updated on the screen. We then have the tempo range and as we change that, the tempo range is programmed on the screen and that does come from Tractor. So that is an LED status. And as we change the pitch, I calculate it based on the tempo range. Now, if we look at the rotary coders, the top one I've set up to browse tracks and then we can just push the button to load a track into the deck. The jog wheel works the same as before. I'm trying to fine tune it the best I can. Now, as we play, let's look at loops. So I've programmed the second encoder to work as a loop enable and also to change the loop size. And if we look on the screen, we can see that the loop size is also represented. And then again, is an LED status from Tractor. The search buttons are programmed to jump the loop the same as pressing the rec button and changing the rotary encoder so we can shuffle the loops backwards and forwards. At the top of the display, we can see we have the phase meter and that again is an LED status from Tractor. So that is updated based on what is on the Tractor screen. As we can see, the phase is creeping out and I've made it go red. And then as we move it back, when it's in the center, we have phase lock, it goes white. We can change the color of the buttons in Tractor uh, by using the MIDI range, min and max. Min is the off color, max is the on color. And we have 10 colors that we can choose from that are built into our software. And eventually I'll be able to change those colors from the menu. So now we can see that we've changed the Q button to blue. And now we're going to change it back to green. So any of the fixed colors can be changed in that way. Now, if we press memory, we can go into some options and we can basically do some debugging, change the MIDI channel, test that the buttons are working properly, test that the jog wheel is reading properly, check the pitch is working okay. There's a few others on there, but uh, I won't go through those at the moment. And then we can exit back to normal mode. So in order to get to this part, I needed to see how I could access all of the functions of the Teensy. So I designed this dev board that will allow me to um, work out the best ways to add the encoders, to add the screen and also use the multiplexers to add uh, another 24 buttons as well as six buttons that are reading off in uh, off interrupts this gives me uh, access to as much as I can without using the pins on the bottom so the teams you just plug straight in and also using options like um, hardware reading of the actual physical ports rather than using the digital read we can get the software to run as fast as possible so thanks for watching i will try to optimize this the best i can and then i'll have a short video showing them both actually working together